Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my video on hyaluronic acid alternatives. In the event that you are just stumbling upon this video and thinking, wait just a moment, I thought hyaluronic acid was a good thing. Rest assured, it's a wonderful ingredient for the vast majority of people. However, there are exceptions to every rule, even more so when we are talking about skincare. Just like with my niacinamide alternatives video where I made a routine for oily skin types, today's video will be a hyaluronic acid alternatives routine for dry skin types. And really quickly, some backstory on hyaluronic acid. I'm not actually going to spend a lot of time on this particular topic because I already have a video dedicated to hyaluronic acid, so I will link you that video as well if you're interested in the backstory of hyaluronic acid, but basically to just give you the short story here, it is a humectant, it is a very hydrating ingredient for your skin, but again, some people report issues with it, and whether that's the low molecular weight forms, whether it's the salt forms that are causing issues for people, I wanted to put together a video that just has absolutely no hyaluronic acid whatsoever whatsoever and even offers alternatives. And that is the point of today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you an entire skincare routine of products that do not contain any hyaluronic acid. And I do mean any. This means I had to exclude certain other ingredients that naturally contain hyaluronic acid. For example, my beloved snail mucin. But let's go ahead and get into talking about the products I've chosen. So bless that I did a versed and geek and gorgeous trial because those turn out to be two brands that have a lot of hyaluronic acid free options. If you have dry skin, I wouldn't even tell you to, in my personal opinion, waste your time with a hyaluronic acid based cleanser. I would just say go for a creamy cleanser. And Versed came through for me with the Gentle Cycle Milky Cleanser. This has a beautiful ingredients list that is rich in emollients. So I said hyaluronic acid is a humectant, it attracts hydration. Emollients are ingredients that soften your skin, especially if you have dry skin. If you were to look at your skin under a microscope, you'd actually see little cracks in your skin, and emollients can help to fill those in. Olive oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, marula oil, lots of emollients in here. It is an absolute delight, especially if you have dry skin. For my toning step, oh geek and gorgeous, the 101 Liquid Hydration Toner with Panthenol and NMF. So NMF refers to natural moisturizing factors and that refers to a group of chemicals that naturally occurs in your skin and can you guess what it does? Naturally moisturizes your skin? How right you are, me. Thanks, me. So anytime you see these products that are labeled NMF, of course, The Ordinary has one as well, that's what they're referring to. So that includes ingredients like urea, sodium PCA, glycerol, amino acids. Oh, this is such a gorgeous toner. I love it. I love it so much. I love feeling hydrated immediately after cleansing, not having to wait on my serum step, my moisturizer step, just spraying my face after cleansing. Boom, done, hydrated. Can that be my slogan? And boom goes the hydration. So I love the essence step. I've said for a long time, I think it is a very beneficial step, especially for people who have dry skin. And the one that I chose is none other than the very affordable Secret Key Starting Treatment Rose Essence with Galactomyces. Galactomyces is also known as Patera, the secret ingredient of SK2. Well, maybe not so secret. And while that has a plethora of benefits in and of itself, I actually wanted to focus on Panthenol. We had Panthenol in the last product as well, and that's another fantastic alternative to hyaluronic acid. Not only is it a humectant, just like hyaluronic acid is, but it is also also an emollient, so you're getting both those hydrating and softening properties. And Panthenol has a lot of other benefits along with it. It helps to improve barrier function, and of course if you have dry skin, that's something that can be a bit of an issue. And not just that, but you don't even need very much of this Panthenol ingredient. I found studies that used as little as 
1%. And I really wanted to make sure I include that ingredient in this series, given that this is the series of alternatives to potentially irritating for some ingredients, because another huge benefit of panthenol is its anti-irritant potential. So it's a very soothing and yet moisturizing and hydrating ingredient. Absolutely a wonderful ingredient to have in your skincare routine. Next on my list, I know some of you can guess what my serum is going to be. It is absolutely the Ordinary's Marine Hyaluronics. We talked about this ingredient in my algae video, which I'll link if you're interested. Algae is another wonderful alternative to hyaluronic acid and may even be more potent in terms of hydrating your skin. I think it's so funny, sometimes I see polls where people are asking, what's your favorite hyaluronic acid product? And I've seen so many people answer The Ordinary's Marine Hyaluronics, but ultimately, that is a completely hyaluronic free, hyaluronic acid free product. It is using those algae ingredients in place of hyaluronic acid. So ultimately, yeah, a lot of people's favorite hyaluronic acid product doesn't contain hyaluronic acid at all. Tell me that's not ironic. For moisturizer, oh, dry skin types, this one is absolutely for you. The Ghost Democracy Cocoon Replenishing Ceramide Rich Cream, which of course means we are going to talk about ceramides. I'm sure you've heard a lot about ceramides. They are skin identical ingredients, again, similarly to hyaluronic acid, that do help to support your moisture barrier and help to lock in hydration. Ceramides are these wonderful lipid ingredients that are often used in products that are meant to aid in repairing your skin. I mean, they're so popular that there's an entire brand built around them. Of course, CeraVe. This product right here is such a masterpiece in terms of being a reparative and restorative and occlusive rich moisturizer. So we've now covered the three categories of skincare ingredients, humectants for hydration, emollients for softening, and occlusives for protection. And you're gonna see those ingredients here in your lipid blend, which is at 17%, 2.2% ceramides, 2.9% squalane, another skin identical ingredient, and then 1% oat seed extract. It is such a gorgeous product. I love this company too. The name Ghost Democracy is transparency and what the people want. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah, truly wonderful. This is an incredibly thick, incredibly thick moisturizer. And of course we need a sunscreen because skincare is pretty useless if you're not protecting your skin from the sun's rays. So Biosun Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. I actually wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about plant extracts that could be hydrating. Now here's the limitation with this. It's the same limitation every time we talk about plant extracts. If you're not new to this channel, you've heard me say this before. But basically with these extracts, we don't have quite the same amount of published literature. And yet these ingredients do have a lot of popularity. A lot of people swear by them. And with this particular product, I wanted to highlight the lily extract, the white lily extract that is included in this. So this water lily ingredient is not only antioxidant rich, of course, but it is also soothing and anti-inflammatory. I know if you're a subscriber, you've heard me talk a lot about this particular sunscreen. If you are new, this is one of my highest recommendations for dry skin types. It is such a moisturizing and hydrating sunscreen on. It almost leaves your skin looking glowy. So basically, I think if you have dry skin, you're going to love this. If you have oily skin, probably not. But that's it. That's my little mini skincare routine of hyaluronic acid free products plus some hyaluronic acid alternatives. I think I'm also going to go ahead and add into the description box below some other alternative products. I might as well, right? In case this is an ingredient that doesn't work out for you, maybe it will be helpful for you to have a single resource that lists a lot of product options. And of course, I'll have affiliated links in the description box of everything we talked about. So if you do make a purchase through those, it does help to support this channel. And that's it. That's all we have for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And do let me know, does hyaluronic acid work out as an ingredient for you or do you do better with avoiding it? That's all I have for today's video. If you found this helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.